I have heard a lot of Elvis stole right. music from black people. I keep hearing it come up. In the Philippines, I've I've heard about Elvis and it's just in here when this movie came out that I've heard all these stories like and I never knew about that when I walked into the movie. But people fail to recognize that Elvis was not a songwriter. He was a performer. Mm -hmm. The same way that Frank Sinatra and others before him were performers. No one accused any of those people of stealing other people's music. You could make that same charge about so many artists when it really isn't about stealing. It's about being inspired. He took things that were written by other people, including white people. Like when he took Blue Suede Shoes, written by Carl Perkins, who was a white guy, and made it better and more popular. No one accused him of stealing. It was, it was a common thing to do to perform other people's songs. I could wear my Gucci on. Gucci on. I could wear my Louis Vuitton. Like and subscribe. He was performing gospel. He was performing country. He was performing blues. He was doing all of these different styles of music and making his own style. And the other thing is it's easy to judge the past when it was completely a different time. Yeah. It was not what we live in now. So it's easy for us to look back and say, oh, wasn't it really bad? Yeah, it was bad the way things were. White boy from Memphis moving like a goddamn... Yeah, I mean, how could you how could you punish a guy for being influenced by black culture? If you really want to know what black artists of the time thought about Elvis, you can read what they said. If you see the movie, you see that B.B. King and all these other artists were friends of Elvis. I'm thinking about cutting it up with Hound Dog. Woo! That he was influenced by them, and they were also, in turn, influenced by him. Right. Little Richard famously said that Elvis was a blessing. You know, B.B. King was highly complimentary of Elvis. He was friends with him. He knew him before he was famous. People like Jackie Wilson were influenced by Elvis and the way they performed on stage. You know, James Brown. The, that's the name that keeps popping out that uh, Elvis stole from James Brown. No. Ding, ding, ding. No. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Most people don't even know this. James Brown came to Elvis's house, Graceland, when Elvis died and sat alone he wanted to be alone and sat in the, I think, in the front living room there and wept because he loved Elvis as a brother. And Elvis and I were very good friends up until the last minute of his body and life, but he'll always live because of the fact he was such a beautiful man. I don't care what nobody say, I know Elvis. This is one of my favorite subjects because I'm a huge fan of both artists. I love James Brown. I love Elvis. You can read what James Brown thought of him. And at one time he said that when they met, he knew I was good and I knew he was good and we never argued about it. In other words, there was never this who's better than who. He kept me from being number one. Uh -huh. It made me try harder, <laughs> and I love Elvis for it. They recognized each other's game and respected each other's game because the stage performers, they're the best of all time. I, I think the only other guy you could even put in the conversation would be Sammy Davis Jr. in terms of being a stage performer. You can even eat the dishes. That was what I loved about the movie was seeing, you know, like I'm a huge B.B. King fan and seeing him in the movie, seeing these different artists and what it was like for, for their music to reach beyond the, the circumstances that they're in. I want to pay a tribute to a good friend of mine, Brother Elvis Preston, who uh, opened up a lot of doors for me to get through. It's, it's uniting, you know, it unites everybody. And like I said, seeing it from the, the point of view of an Australian, Boz Lerman, who's looking at American culture and celebrating this thing, I think that makes it even more powerful in a way. In the movie, they showed that black young people and white young people were together in telling Elvis, Elvis, be yourself. Uh, we miss the uh, old Elvis. I'm going to show you what the real Elvis is like tonight. It doesn't matter what your color was. If, if that if you're black you only have to like black music and if you're white you only have to like white music the great thing about music you know rock and roll but just music in general is it can break barriers i love what he done for the people and the chance he gave me it can cross cultures it can put people together that can enjoy the same things